Hey everybody, it's Angel and Mayhem. Mayhem, yay! From Halo Inspirations. We give you inspirations to help you spread beauty and joy through your quilting journey. Happy hump day! Whoop whoop! Happy Wednesday to each of you. Yes, the video dropped. It was kind of long, but we wanted kinda. to make... <laughs> I wanted to make sure we covered everything. Um, and it's funny because I am going to go over something. Again. Again. <laughs> I just want to be more clear and I got a closer up camera. So I just want to make sure I have some clarity and add a little insight to it. But if you're here, let us know that you're here. Where you're from. Want to say hello, give a little shout out to you. Make sure our chat is working, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, it's always a guessing game. I think there's something we could do about it, but you know. I mean, as far as like checking on stuff and I, you got to teach me how to sign in. Because I can actually chat from here, but I don't know how to do it. I will attempt that. Okay. We can play Hi, with it. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Hi, Mima. Hi there. Yes, hello, Miss Sherry. Hello, Mom. Glad well, to see you all. They both work. <laughs> Yay. Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> oh, hello, Sharina. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. So today's video drop was all about squaring and cutting fabric. And I always, I still, do, I do this in person too. If you take one of our 101 classes, I do the wiggle wiggle. You got to do the little dance to get your fabric square. And I got to tell you, that piece of fabric, I haven't shown it to Michael. <laughs> it's his binding for his quilt. I don't want to see it. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, that, that last piece I cut, it's pretty, pretty cattywonkus. Okay. <laughs> that whole quilt has been a nightmare and yeah. a half. That was, it was a bad one. We'll have to tell that story eventually when it doesn't hurt so bad. Because <laughs> right now it's, it's still, still fresh. <laughs> the pain is still fresh. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, let me turn that off, guys. What are you doing over there? I oh, wait, have, let me check I have value. Val I'm so sorry. Okay, the volume was still on. Okay, okay. so what I'm going to do... Don't kill me. Ah. Okay, just like in the video. <laughs> I am going to um, the halo wiggle. I love it. That's cute. That is cute. Good Super, job, Yeah, that's a good one. The halo wiggle wiggle. Maybe we should have like a little song that goes with it. You wiggle, know? wiggle. Yeah. Oh, wiggle. that's a good one. It's an actual song. I know, oh, but okay. we can play it. Not, well, we're probably going to get infringement now. Oh, yeah, I sang too long, guys. <laughs> End of the world. Actually, we've been longer than five minutes. We might be fine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, that's a good one, though. I'll have to get that and put it on. Yeah, we'll have to do create a little dance with it. That'd be fun. So, at any rate, <laughs> kind of like the quilter shuffle. Have you ever seen that? No, I have not seen the quilter oh, shuffle. Oh, my gosh. I have got to show you the quilter shuffle. It's this. to that shuffle song. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to show you the quilter show. My sister-in-law taught me how to square fabric that way. Nice. Oh, very cool. So I'm not all by myself. Very good. Yes, it works. And I will tell you, if you don't, that's when... And even if you do, if you don't get it right... Just do it again. Well, yeah, you'll have to do it again. But you'll get that strip that isn't right. It isn't straight. Might have peaks and valleys. And I only know this... Because guess who's done it? <laughs> so, at any it. rate, what I do want to go over again with you guys, though, is cutting that fabric on the line. Again. <laughs> again. This time, the, I've got this camera a little closer. Now, I don't have... You're going to see some things. This piece isn't exactly perfect. What would you do with I your snips? I didn't touch it. Oh, the snips are right there. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to switch cameras here. Do you have a... Are you actually cutting it or no? No. Okay. I'm not cutting it. I'm just showing them how to put it on the line. Okay. Okay. Click the button. Click in the button. Okay. So what I, I did bring this in closer. Now this piece, you're going to see a couple things. Number one, it's not pressed. Okay. I just needed something to show you. So <clears throat> a lot of people want to line up their fabric so that this black line is on actually the mat okay it's not on the fabric it's right next to the fabric 
that cut will will not give you an accurate two and a half okay and if we actually line this up this is a two and a quarter strip well it's supposed to be and you'll notice well no you can't see it on my side in real life here it's hanging off so it's actually not cut correctly but you want it or the ruler line that black line is on the fabric and the edge of the line is flush to the raw edge of the fabric I think that is a better explanation because you can actually see it pretty up close. I did take picture and I was hoping that was enough, but man, is this important. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back real quick because I'm gonna add a little something to it. So <clears throat> if you cut next to the fabric, it truly is not the complete end of the world. What it means is that you will have to adjust your quarter inch seam to be smaller just a little bit so that your blocks come out to the correct size okay but it just makes it a lot easier <laughs> if you just cut with the ruler on the fabric makes it a lot easier to figure out where your quarter inch seam is so that's why I teach it that way and it's most interesting because I had somebody come in this month um, we're working on something together and she forgot how to cut fabric. No big deal. We can relearn. It's been a while. So um, when she cut, she cut not on the line. So when she sewed her stuff together, it was short. And it was short enough that if we kept adding those blocks together, it would have made it really hard to get a good size block. It would have shrunk it dramatically. So, <laughs> just send it. <laughs> Is it the end of the world? No. But then you need to understand your quarter inch seam and how to make that adjustment. So, I just wanted to reiterate that because when you build these habits and you understand what's happening when you make an oopsie, <laughs> then it's easier to fudge. <laughs> Yeah, just send it. So okay. that's the part that I wanted to um, add. Oh, Sherry, you said you wouldn't want me to. You wouldn't away. want me to wiggle. <laughs> oh yeah, we can all wiggle, wiggle. We can wiggle, wiggle. Do the wiggle, wiggle. Get it all done. Of course, there goes the um, infringement. <laughs> We're gonna get a copyright infringement. Be number five. <laughs> So stars <clears throat> that's what I wanted to add. If anybody ever has any questions or comments, so I was going to take this off. Fine. Oh, you want me to leave it on? No, it's fine. Okay. It gives it contrast. Oh, it gives it contrast. Red. Okay. Um, never hesitate to ask. Never hesitate to drop a comment. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback, and uh, we're here to answer the questions. I felt pretty good about... Um, is pretty long for squaring and cutting and I'm trying to figure out how to not have quite as long for the next turn so you might see me split the videos in two because sewing she your quarter inch well, I can talk forever but this quarter inch seam is something that confuses a lot of people I have a Calibre art self-healing cutting mat that I really like a who Calibre Art Self Healing. Somebody told mat. me that. Who is that? That is Sharina. Okay, Sharina. I'll have to wait and see what that pops up if it does. Yeah, and that's just it. You know, there are a lot of companies out there that make self healing mats, and I've tried some. I haven't tried that one, Sharina. Um, but if you love it, keep going. Don't, Don't stop. You don't have to change because somebody else uses something else or they tell you this one's better or, you know, what. There are no rules. <laughs> There's no rules! There's no rights or wrongs. Um, you might have to refresh. So, um, and I'm glad you said that. And once it pops up, if it pops up, no. It's, it's not going to play nice today. YouTube's being wonkified. Well, I don't know that it's YouTube. It might be just the communication between the soft mirror. Soft mirror. Soft mirror. <laughs> well, it says I have a Calibre Art Self-Healing Cutting Mat. Calibre 
Calibre Art. C-A-L-I-B-R-E Space Art. I can't hear art. you. C-A-L-I-B-R-E Space Art. Okay, I'll Calibre. check it out. I'm always looking at other products. I'm just always curious. I'm, I'm the one that'll test stuff before I put it out in the world for my own sake. But if you love it, keep using it. And thank you for sharing because somebody else might like it too. So that was all about the squaring and cutting that I had to reiterate. Again. <laughs> Again. I'm telling y'all, when y'all go to cut fabric next time, you're going to hear me saying, the ruler you goes be on else. the fabric, huh? You won't be able to think of anything else. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, Angel, stop it. Stop getting in my head. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have a funny smell that's oh, actually entirely fair yeah because these smell oh not this one but the other ones smell like i don't smell it not they're fine after they air out a little oh bit. oh yeah when they first come yeah they do have a it's kind like of a sickening. plasticky it's not plastic it's, it's like plasticky oil it's like oil hmm. which i understand that oil makes plastic but it just doesn't smell like plastic to me oh okay it smells like oil well this one doesn't when it came i don't know i didn't get this one yeah, I know. I wasn't here for that. It's it's fun too. I like this one. Okay. Between um. Ulfa and Creative Grids, so far they're my favorites. But I haven't tried everybody. Yeah. But so far those are my favorites. I had this one company and I don't remember the name of it. It's they were better that way. I know, but it, it they were bad, and I still have it on my cutting table in my house. Hmm. It truly is not my favorite, but it did the job while it lasted plain simple but Next. are you ready yeah michael's ready to show you some fabric that's what he's over here doing sorry i'm looking at how see-through hey there glad to see you oh sewing with lewayne is at quilt con go you go you yes oh okay well they send them flat with ulfa too if they don't that's a problem but um Yes, I'm hoping to make it, but I don't know that I will. We've got a lot of um, uproar happening in the Halo homestead. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Um, so I'm hoping I can, but I can't make a promise. But man, I am so glad. You will have to take some video and put it on your channel, my friend. We want to see what you see. QuiltCon right out of here and you know what you came all the way across from all the way across the united states because you're at a san francisco if i remember correctly that's amazing yeah i mean quilt cons go closer to you <laughs> but it's good i'm glad you're there i hope you have a good time okay so i'm going to talk about a few things um a few new products so um first one on the list and and thank you Lane, for showing up and coming to say hello little jealous where you are right now yeah he's petting the fabric so we got to get started that's what that's what this that's what this it's is it does it yeah it's not as good it as feels that. it feels um the only thing about it i don't like is this oh well but it doesn't but like it doesn't that. in between see when you put it down i don't care about that oh okay well not most fabric you can oh yeah you can't with that yeah you can yeah, but you gotta you gotta do it up in the air. Oh, he, you're gonna fall us down. Oh, he, you're no, gonna, we're fine. Okay, okay. So the first one I want to. Um, oh wait, you're making shorts, regular videos, Instagram and TikTok. I'll check it out. Tiki Everybody, talks. check it out. Tiki talks. Tiki talk. All right. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is from Michael Miller. They came out with a new basics line. Now, you know. People throw these words out all the time, so I want to hit on what a basic line is. Generally speaking, it's a line that is reproduced over and over for a period of time. It's not like a one and done. It's um, typically something that can be used for a background, a blender, um, those kinds of things. So um, Lori Holt- In place of a solid. In place, in place of a solid. But a solid is also a basic. It is, but a solid is a category of basic. So Correct. I just, just to help clarify in your brain, it can be in place of solid. Right, yes. Because solid is a type of basic. So mm -hmm. these basic lines are used in different ways in your quilt. They could actually just be the star, of course, depending on the on the line, but they're generally used in backgrounds and, and as blenders. Um, I'd make a whole quilt out of it. Well, and even like painter swirl is I'd a basic a line, and we could make a whole quilt out of that. Absolutely. So, I would. 
Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful basic line, but like just means it's reproduced over so. and over. It's not a one and done. We didn't have a designer come in and just did it once. Um, That's it what you get. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like like this one. <laughs> so the, the, bears. the name of the line for the new basic line uh, with Michael Miller is called patina. And I looked up that word, and one of the meanings is um, oxidation of metal. metal. So I find that interesting. Um, sassy stuff from um, Memoirs of a Long Arm Quilter. Uh, we actually sent her some patina and a pattern that is free. So you'll get to see what she created. And then you'll have access to the free pattern. If you haven't seen it already on her channel, I don't know that she released yesterday finally what it looked like. Um, super stoked to get it in the shop. She's going to let us borrow it here for a little bit so people can see this line being utilized. It is so cool. Um, but she states that it reminds her of a mix between grunge and I want to say marble. Wish she was here. All right. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. We had a five pack that we opened for photograph purposes. So we're just going to show you some of the colors and go from there. So you have the clicker. I have the clicker. Are you going to change the channel? I'm going. <laughs> there you go. Are you going to take us off so they can see the whole thing? I'll just go over here. Okay. That. Now that's actually not a great color variation. So it's purple. It's a light it's purple. Like pink. Purple? But you can see all of the colorations in it. This one, this one looks good. It's a little that's lighter, gray. But this one's good. Yeah. Oh, well, this one is pretty good. That's, that's nice. Look at that one. That's close. -ish. Yeah. So there are 30 colors in this line. Yeah. So when you get a pre-cut, whether it's the fat quarter, the, oh, what do they call theirs? What is green? The rolls, the two and a half inch rolls, um, or a fat, in, a five inch or 10 inch. There is 42, so some of them are duplicated. Not, ooh, I like that one. Not all of them are duplicated naturally because 30 plus 30 is 60, but you do get some duplicates uh, for some of the colors. But I just think the print on it is really, really cool. Um, definitely gives you some depth and some texture. And I cannot wait till that quilt shows up and I will definitely oh, share no, that with like you. Fire. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. It's like fire. Mm-hmm. Well, so that fun. is, whoop, as you hit the camera. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> that is patina. Yeah, there you go, guys. That's patina. Patina. And if you want to switch cameras oh, real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> uh, Webcam. This button. Yep. And then that button. <laughs> Voila! So we do have them in fat quarters. We do have them in 10 inch squares, five inch squares. And let's just see where, I think the jelly roll, or the, that's not a jelly roll. They don't call them that. No. It's not over there. Whoop! Look what you did. Oh, look. He's tearing it down. Oh, I found it. What do they call it? They call it a uh, two and a half inch roll. Oh, they call it jelly roll squared. No, that's the that's the quilt that they're advertising. What do they call it theirs? Yeah, I think they're just called rolls. Give me a second, Daddy. So, <clears throat> we do have them in that also. So, moving on, that was Patina. Very, very lovely line. Um, and right now, like I said, we've got the pre cuts available, and it's in what's new on the website. Okay, next on the line is the one that Michael knocked down. <laughs> Don't this worry. is so cute, guys. And I want to have Michael pull it down in just a second just to give you an idea up close what these bears look like but this panel is it's a roll it's a roll this panel is called bear hugs and what i want to oh he moved it up too high there are actually 16 different bears and each bear and cub is different every single one of them he's getting the camera ready yep, sorry guys is I'm different so that is very, very cool because you're getting something um, different in every square. Man, you are all over it. Well, we're just pulling it down anyway. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Notice how the other one hasn't failed? Okay. So I'm just going to share it real quick so they can see. Okay. 
But I gotta find what you do with the clicker. Well, I don't know. You're just throwing things places. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Just throwing things. Okay. I'm just throwing stuff places, guys. And we gotta fix this. There we go. Sure. That looks good. Next. All right. Just want to pull this. I'm trying to pull it down, Michael. Let me be. Okay. I still understand what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So look at the detail. Here, get me, get me out of here. How do we get rid of that? Okay. Look at the detail, guys. This. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> This is absolutely incredible. It's the detail is beautiful and the colors are gorgeous. This is the same I mean, I did the owls. Yes, this so is by Creative Morris Creative Group for QT and the panel is called Bear Hugs. Super yeah, super, super adorable. adorable. And look very at look at the detail. I mean, it's incredible. Look, they're laughing too. Yep. So, yeah, because it's the backdrop. You kept dropping the backdrop. <laughs> so with this line, I want to share with you guys that we actually have four bolts. Three of them are basically the same, just different color variations. So get, you can pass the top one. Technically different, that's fine. All right. Are they are different? I don't think so. So this is the first one, and these these are super cute too, and very very well hand drawn and done. Um, it's called the Bear Vignette. Is that how you say that word? Vignette, vignette. Nice. So this is a light gray color, and just super super adorable. I love the little panda bear, and he cute. Oh, and there's another one. Look, isn't he cute? Okay, so that's one. And then we have. Um, Oh, they are. I think they are different. No, they're not. They're not. So they're insects and something rather. Um, I can't remember. Plants, bugs, something like that. Insects and bugs. It doesn't say anything on it. So you've got the butterflies. You got the bees. Just some little, some little floral flower thingies. Yeah. Some plants. But this is in white. I can pull that down just a little bit, or an off white. All right. And I hate that that camera. It's a light is not up. My apologies. It's okay. Fast. So Slow this is the same print, but it's in like a beige. a beigey color. Yep. Beige Look at that. Tan. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. I like this gray the best. You though. like the gray? Yeah, I think it's pretty. I like grays. Yeah. Like grays nice. Now in this, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I will be honest with you, it's it's a little darker. So this is pretty close. I will say this is pretty close. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. So those are the um, four bolts that we have for bear hugs. Also online um, under what's new. Okay, what do I miss? I don't know. Oh, cute. Yeah, it is cute. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, you like patina? Yeah. Patina's nice. They are. Um, so <clears throat> next is this panel right behind us. So I'm going to move out of the way just a bit. Yeah, okay, that is, isn't it cute? Oh, we got a little sunlight coming in. I don't know where that's Add to the, <laughs> bam. Add to the effect. So this is called Coming Home, and it's by Vicki Gifford for, Gifford? Gifford. Gifford. For Riley Blake Designs. She's actually a new designer for Riley Blake. And this is inspired by her for her love and respect and pride for her military, uh, for the U.S. military and for her country. And I just love this line. So this is the panel. Now, with the panel, well, Shucky Darns, huh? What? Well, I was going to be oh. able to show it to him. Well, it was blocking everything. So, no, I meant under the camera. I know, it was oh, all okay. blocked. I couldn't see nothing. So this is a little cute little box. It is a kit. It comes with everything that you need. Except for backing. Except, no. Or maybe it, backing? Backing. Yeah, it's for the quilt top and the binding. And I just want to show you what it's going to look like. Let's see it before you change it. Oh, my. You got it all cattywonkus. Well, 
You can't do that. <laughs> You're catty wonky. Come on. Nope. Gotta come over. There you go. If y'all only saw, I'm using like tubs right now. boxes and a plate. <laughs> no lie, there's a plate in there. A tray. The same thing. <laughs> it's a mess. That's all I'm going to Can you move guys. that? There you go. Yeah, I can't get it. Thank you. My pleasure. There we go. So I want y'all to see this. Super cute. Love it. So this is what we, is the... Whoop, I went the wrong way. Okay, so the panel is right here, as you can see. So you get everything to make this quilt, including the binding, okay? But not the backing. No, it doesn't. Usually they don't come with it's the backing. It's just making sure. Yeah. Super, super awesome. Absolutely love this. I know it's probably hard to tell. I don't know without watching the video. But these are flags. So this is actually, we have all of the bolts for this line. 20. 24. 24 of them. There are 24 bolts with this line. So, um, but also this kit also comes with the pattern, okay? And it's exclusive for this kit. There is another pattern. It's a little different, and I'm going to drop it later this week. Uh, it's a free pattern from Riley Blake that also utilizes the coming home panel and some of the fabrics. So if we can pull that down real quick. Real quick. Now the panel... There we go. The Bear Hugs panel runs twelve eighteen for one panel, and the Coming Home panel is eleven ninety eight. So, <clears throat> here are some of the bolts right behind me. So, what is incorporated in this line? So, here are those flags. You can hold that up for a second, Michael. These are the flags that were around that one border that you saw in that picture. I mean, even if you weren't doing something like this military, this is so awesome. So very awesome. Patriotic. Fourth then of July. There are four different bolts of stars. Um, over here, the there you are. There you go. Every, well, they're not going to be able to see that well, far anyway. Whatever. You can zoom in. But they have. Oh, they can. Yeah. yeah. So um, there's. This is for the Air Force. There are um, j uh, airplanes and such, jets. Then we have uh, the Coast Guard, the Navy the army and the marines did i say that right i did okay so I said something <laughs> there's also um for those of you who are military um or appreciate military things there's um three bolts of cadences uh they're done in three different colors there is um some bolts with each each of the military what do you call those groups so yeah like you have ma saluting, a marine but, but yeah they're all standing at attention and they're saluting um and then we have a number of them that have like all the different air uh water and aircraft and land craft is there any land craft yeah Just vehicles yeah vehicles <laughs> just they have the different vehicles they have different vehicles <laughs> um from the different uh military groups so it's actually a really 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 cool line on the what's new so you can definitely see those nice pictures that riley blake provided for us um, with the ruler so you can get an idea on how big the prints are but super cute love it i think there's um a little bit of something for everybody in there mm. you know what i mean cadence is cool the cadence is cool but there's no cursing i promise they're all they're all language appropriate mm. they, all, they use the ones that are not yeah <laughs> they're not bad that were not bad <laughs> but I wanted to bring um, coming home to you for sure and um, the bear hugs and, the bear. and patina because patina I think is going to go over super well and in the future we will be getting some yardage with it so <clears throat> be a good yardage to have. it would be good yardage yeah, what yeah. Did you do? there's nothing there oh okay I don't know I'm Ooh. So. okay so I would have told you now that we've actually had our backdrop fall like four times. <laughs> if you put it up originally the correct way. Oh, listen. Well, let me put it up higher like I had it. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah, crazy. It fell down in the shop, too. Dad had to pick it up several times. <laughs> I think it's just the... Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Because it, it, it... I don't know. It just doesn't want to stay put. 
The other one's gotta move, man. It's gotta move. It's It's, gotta move. It's it's the bears. bears. (laughs) So at any rate, that's what we have for y'all today. Your it's coming home and the bears. The bears and patina. There's more out there, guys, that you should definitely check out the what's new tab. Lots of new stuff coming in all the time. All the time. So look forward to seeing more fabric because we all love some fabric, right? But, well, that's what we have for today. Now, I will say the next time we come, um, I'm going to be doing a happy hour inside Creative Kingdom uh, this Saturday. I'm going to get it up on the calendar for y'all. Um, for those of you who are inside the Creative Kingdom, uh, if you're not a member, it is a private group. So we do ask that you answer three questions to get the keys to the kingdom. Without those three questions answered, if even one is skipped, then um, we don't we don't let you in. <laughs> it sounds bad, and I, I feel bad, but we want to keep the people in there safe, and that's one of the ways to deter um, any kind of trolls. That or bots. Or bots. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, bots will join groups if you don't have questions. Wow. So... We will be doing a happy hour this Saturday, so I look forward to seeing y'all then. Uh, then we will also be doing, um, sorry, I have to think, and I don't know, why do we look up when we think? I always think, you know, we're looking up into our brain, I don't know. But it's Cherub Chit Chat, which is the always, no, it's not always, usually the first Wednesday of the month. So the first Wednesday of March, we will be doing Cherub Chit Chat, so if you like to share something with us, just let us know, send it our way, and we will definitely share it with the Halo community and enjoy the inspiration that you provide through that. So at any rate, we've got that going, and I want to take a quick reminder to let everybody know on the website and in the local shop for the entire month of February. So we still have, what is it today, 21st? Hey. Is it today 21st or 22nd? I don't know. <laughs> He's over there yawning. 21st. 21st. No so we have eight more days as it's leap year left of February. Oh, so for eight more days, all of the Halloween fabrics, even if they're part of a basic line, all the Halloween fabrics, pre-cuts, yardage, whatever, is on sale 25% off. And it is an automatic thing on the on the website. On the website. So you don't need a code. Just it's, click it and just, it's discounted. <laughs> You're, you're up here. I'm up here. <laughs> He's excited. Up here <laughs> He's excited about 25% off. We do have Halloween fabric coming in March, so that's part of the reason um, that we want to give you those um, that we have left at a, at a good discount because it won't be on discount anymore come March. <laughs> It'll be gone. <laughs> so... No Grab more. your Halloween fabric. In the meantime, I will see you all for happy hour inside Creative Kingdom. Look forward to that. I will see you all um, on the first Wednesday of March. And uh, yeah. And then, of course, we, the next video drop for Back to the Basics series will be all about sewing and pressing. I say that with a kind of hesitation because I don't want it to be too long. So. If I split it in two, the Halo Happenings calendar will let you know that, okay? I will make sure that we are all informed. But looking forward at completing that sewing machine mat with you and going back to the basics and getting regrouped and rethought on how we do our basics in quilting and piecing. So at any rate, the blog did get released. There was a link in the video on in the description box of the video this morning there was things and stuff so every time we drop a video i'll add more to the pattern and then eventually at the end there will be a pdf formatted one so i wanted to let you all know that there it, it has begun and the blog is out there on our website at haloinspired.com and i'll be real with you guys we did buy the domain haloinspirations.com so you could type that into and it'll get you to the same place Um, you'll just notice that the name will change at the top it's just because the way it's linked but we did able to do that so you don't have to get too confused Uh, but at any rate you can check the blog out and um, there'll be more to come with that there'll be more pictures 
of course I have the pattern there'll be you'll see when we start to put the blocks together there'll be different things added in there and um, some real pictures with it too because I know that people love to look at fabric we all love to look at fabric yeah so the blog's out there I'll see you all next month for the continuation of back to the basics you have anything to add? Stay safe. He wants to all to stay safe this week. And I will see you all soon. So until next time, may you all continue to be inspired, productive, ever so joyful. Never stop believing and never stop making your dreams in quilting come true. We love y'all. Happy quilting. Happy hump day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and Lewayne, have a great time at QuiltCon. And I'll see you all soon.